Hey trappers, we're in my fur shed here tonight, um, putting up some red fox. I caught eight of them today and we got seven of them done and we're on the last one. And I'm gonna have my daughter Lainey here show you the proper way to board and pin a red fox. But now before we get started, I just wanna show you my boards. Um, these are bottleneck red fox boards that I designed. I used to, uh, I, I've used adjustable red fox boards in the past, and I, I do not really like adjustable boards at all I, for, for any fur bear. Um, so I kind of started with that for, for a little bit of a template and made a, a board for red fox. I use the same size board on on all sizes of red fox i don't use different boards for different sizes um it's very similar in width to the fha pattern but it has the bottleneck on top um, and that just makes the the face in my opinion look better the neck look a little more full um just makes a, a better looking product so let's get started here um we have this red fox here that is fleshed and ready to go. Now, Lainey, you wanna get started? Sure. All right, so I'm gonna take it and I'm just gonna pull it up over the nose. And there. why do you do that? Um. So it stretches it out a little better, correct? Yeah, and then I'm gonna push in the ears. And now I'm going to lay it against the wall here. Now you would have to cut the, the lip off that, but when I skinned it, I got it well enough. I don't have to cut any more off of that. Now we cut we cut these. Where do you show where you cut the legs, Lainey? Um, right at the elbow there. Yep. Okay, now it's ready to be. And so I lay it on the bench here and I'm gonna pull down the tail and pin it right here before, at the edge, before it reaches the fur. And then I'm just gonna pull this little bit down And then do the same on the other side. You don't have enough, Lainey. Pull, pull a little more. This way? Yeah. Now your pins popped out. Okay. okay, that's about... That's about what I do when I pin the back. Okay, flip it over. I'm gonna go get the legs. I'm gonna pin it all the way up the bottom there. Do the same on the other side. And then get right here at the knee. Pin that there. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other leg. Good job, Lainey. Right, now I'm gonna get a stick and put it 
that right down through the middle. Good job. And I'm going to take borax and rub it into the legs. Pull the fox down. Massage the, massage the borax into the head. And the mouth. And we use the borax for two reasons. Um, number one, it suppresses any taint that might happen. The, the arms, um, they're in the armpits, and the head are the two places, and the ears are the two places that uh, you, you could have some spoilage or taint and have the fur slip. Um, the other thing that's really nice about borax in the head is when you flip these fox fur out and they, they finish drying on the board, the borax helps keep the head from sticking to the board. So, all right, Lainey, look here, wave bye. Bye. Thanks for watching, trappers. Um, that is how to pin a uh, pin a red fox and board it. Here are the other ones that we did today, and tomorrow we'll flip them all over and pin them about the same way.